<laughs> go. Go. Big slide. Really big slide for little Baba. You can do it. I believe in you, son. Whoa! <laughs> You're awesome. You're totally awesome. Yeah. Again. Climb up there. This is the big boys climbing frame. Some big girls climbing frame. There you go. Another slide. Slide addict. You're a slide addict. Can't get enough slides. Get your feet round. Then go. <laughs> yeah. Totally awesome. This awesomest kid in the world ever. Yeah? What are you gonna do now? Huh? You wanna climb something? Yeah? Superpowers. Just hanging out in the beach with number one son, Indigo Phoenix, on a beautiful 23rd of December. It's just absolutely stunning here. The sea is just flat and calm. The sun is just about set and it's just beautiful. It's just so beautiful and I've got no particular subject to talk about in this video. Just, just, just feeling incredibly blessed, you know. And they, they do say that, you know, gratitude is the most powerful creative force in the universe. I'm inclined to believe it. I'm inclined to believe it. You know, from, from my experience, the most grateful people I know have the most things to be grateful about. Funny that, huh? And uh, even those that seem to have least grateful to be things to be about, they're not grateful for the things that they have and then they, they get less, right? So it's, it seems to be a very, very powerful universal principle, law, whatever, is the power of gratitude, of counting your blessings, even as few as you think you may have. All it takes is a shift in perception. All right, son? All it takes is a shift in perception of your current reality to create miracles in your life right now. There, there is miracles in your life happening right now. Your life is a miracle. And there are miracles happening all around you and in your life every single day. And it's just a choice to perceive them as such. If you're looking at something in your life as a stressing, you can turn it into a blessing just like that. Just like that you can turn it into a blessing by, by looking for the seed of hope or benefit within that stressing. Turn your stressings into blessings and count your blessings. The great things that are happening in your life, acknowledge them. Acknowledge them as wonderful things and you'll get more of them. When, when, whatever you appreciate, you get more of. You know, have you, have you ever done something for someone and they didn't appreciate what you did for them? Did you really feel like doing anything else than after that? No, you, yeah, when, when you don't get appreciation from people, then you don't really feel like doing anything more for them. The universe is the same. You know, when, whenever you show appreciation to the universe or to the, the grand organized design, then you, you tend to get more of it, right? Same, you know? The universe is just a bigger, grander version of ourselves. And so, even the things as well that don't seem like things you can appreciate, they seem like things that are hardships or that you've fallen on bad luck or bad health or whatever. But that's a, there's a learning in there. There's a powerful learning in whatever you're going through. You right, son? So every time he falls over, he gets a learning. Hurt, right, son? Yeah, that was a hard fall and it hurt a bit, didn't it? Yeah? But what did you learn from it? Yeah, exactly. You learn, he learned, he said, he said to pick my feet up more. You learn to pick your feet up more and then you don't trip over them. You learn to walk better. The more you fall over when you're a kid, the better you become at walking because you, you realize. <laughs>
he walks a lot, he runs a lot, he runs sideways, he runs backwards and everything. And so he falls quite a bit. But what he's doing is he's learning. You know, the, the, the kids that walk the least, that are kept all wrapped up in cotton wool, you know, they, they don't really get so, such great skills. But at a very young age, you just give, give, them, give them a lot of rope, a lot of room to, to do stuff, and they, they learn very quickly that way. But it's never too late. You can just shift your perception right now, and you can change anything in your life that you're perceiving as being uh, a stressing, something you might feel like you're, it's happening to you, you know, why is this happening to you, or whatever it is. Well done, son. Well done. Whatever that is, you, you can shift it. You can say, what can I learn from this? Where is the blessing in this? Where is the seed of hope or benefit? You know, you can compare it to, you say, it could be a lot worse, right? It can always be worse. There's always people that are having a, a, you know, a lot uh, rawer deals than, than we're having, you know? So just, just be grateful. Just be grateful and appreciative. And by doing that, you'll bring more of that into your life. That has been my experience. And a lot of great teachers, a lot of great philosophers have said that gratitude is the most powerful law in the universe. Go, jump. You can do it. I believe in you. Wow. <laughs> awesome. And that's how you learn. You fall down, you get back up again, you see where your limits are. Push your limits. Push yourself past what you've gone past before and you will expand your comfort zone. You'll expand who you are. you become a grander version of yourself. Okay, thanks for watching. I uh, really appreciate you and uh, stay blessed this holiday period. See you soon. Say bye-bye, Indigo. Bye-bye.